A very good evening to you all. Um, Sanya is back with us and she was suffering a major electricity breakdown in her area, but we're lovely to see her back. Uh, hopefully her internet will stay up. We're going to look at the uh, at the eight hands that you played tonight, continuing our theme of things that we do uh, with trumps. And um, uh, you remember last week we had all sorts of things. We sort of end paid in trumps and we reduced our trumps and we, we made trumps en passant. This is another group of similar hands. So when you saw them all last week, I was absolutely confident you'd get them all right this week. Mm, yes. OK. Board one is on your screen, the one that you saw, uh, when you started off with. Uh, no opposition bidding and North finishes up in five diamonds. So we will click on five diamonds and pass, pass, pass. As always, if you have any questions, or comments on any of the boards, we love to hear them. Uh, send them to the table, and I or Alan or both of us uh, will do our best to answer any queries that you have, any comments that you have. Um, if there are alternative lines that we have maybe missed because they come up regularly. All right. Um, well, it's North that's due to play in Five Diamonds, uh, Terry, yes. Um, the auction was one diamond, one heart, two diamonds, three diamonds, three hearts, five diamonds. Well, South shouldn't have bid it at your table. I'm not sure I wasn't watching your table, but North was uh, was how it was scheduled to pay. Um, so I don't know quite how you managed to get South to do it. South might have had more of a problem, but then you wouldn't have had the right lead either because the lead was given as the Jack of Spades. So if South played it, then you ignored the lead instructions for the opening lead as well. Never mind. There you go. South opened five diamonds. Yeah, oh well. You need to get a new partner, whoever was nor. Lead was a jack of spades. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got a spade loser. Um, we've very likely got a diamond loser. They might just be 2-2 two -two if we're really lucky. And then we'll be taking the club finesse for an over trick. So, uh, uh, but surely our uh, our line is to uh, is to win the second spade, assuming that they continue with spades. Seems a likely thing to do. He's going to overtake it, just in case that's a signal come from his partner. And North Ruffs. <laughs> And we cash a top diamond. If they're 3-1, well, then we'll lose a diamond uh, and we'll have to take the club finesse uh, to make our we've already lost one trick. But bad news is that they're not 3-1, they are 4 nil. And now we have already lost one trick. We're definitely going to lose at least one more diamond. But how do we avoid losing two diamonds and our contract? And there's only one answer to that. We have to strip the hand of all the other suits in the east hand so that he's only got diamonds left. And then we'll let him make the jack or the queen and he'll have to lead away from the other one. So all our efforts now have got to be to go in that direction. That means the club finesse is going to have to work and we're going to have to rough a club because we need to bring our trumps down to the same length as East. And we're going to need him to follow to, uh, to three rounds of clubs because otherwise he can rough and exit with a side suit and wait for his other trump. So we need pretty much the distribution that we can see. But now we've got the news, no point in cashing the King of Diamonds. East is then going to make two diamond tricks when we're going off. So we leave the trumps alone and we take the inevitable club finesse. We can't do without it. And it wins. All right, so we'll cash the ace of clubs now. Yeah. Now we can come back to hand with a uh, spade rough or we can come back to hand with a heart 
doesn't really matter. Either one will do. Ross, the other club. Now he hasn't got any clubs left, we hope. Um, but we expect him to still have a spade. He led the jack. Now we're going to play two rounds of hearts. And now we know his last three cards are the Queen Jack Four of Diamonds. So we will simply play a diamond. Put nine in. He swings with the jack, but he has no choice. He has to lead a diamond back into our King Ten, and we finish up with eleven tricks. So not too difficult once you appreciate what the problem is and what we need to do to solve it. Only the end play gives us a chance. And even then we need to find the other suits cooperatives and he can't rough early and exit with a side suit and then wait for another trump. So here, um, that's how we made 11 tricks. I don't know how many made it, uh, maybe somebody can tell me. Only to Sandy made it. Ron, Josie made it. And she did it card perfect for them. Oh, Josie. Yeah, well, Josie. Card perfect. Oh, good for you. Yeah, well done. I think Blue was uh, uh, commenting that oh, she, she played it right. She played it very quickly. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, as I say, once you recognize the problem um, and what you've got to aim for, then uh, the play doesn't get quite so difficult. No, it's not. That's not elopement, Jack. Elopement is when you rough a suit, and the opposition can't over rough you, even though they've got bigger trumps because of their obligation to follow suit. That's what elopement is. You play a suit. Left-hand opponent has to follow suit, and you make your little trumps that he could otherwise take away from you. Okay. We'll come back to elopement in a moment, I'm sure. And do we have any questions or comments on board one that we haven't seen really? Okay, we will move on to board two, he says. Uh, board two. Let's walk to the table. Yeah. And again, there's no opposition bidding, and West finishes in four hearts. She starts off one diamond, but uh, West finishes in four hearts. And the lead is the King of Clubs. Uh, certainly, what looks like Declarer has got three club losers off the top. And uh, he's then got to be careful with the trumps because they're breaking badly. And uh, by the time he finds out they're breaking badly, he can no longer take a heart finesse as such by playing hearts. So he has to use other means to uh, to pick up South's jack of hearts. But wh what mechanism do you use when partner leads a king. Against no trumps, it's pretty standard, a little bit different. You know partner's got the queen, but has he got the ten and the jack, or the ten or the jack, or is it, could it just be the king and the queen? So you need to have some agreed method of either encouraging or discouraging. And uh, the table I watch, South played the eight, which although it's quite a high card, um, North didn't think that was particularly encouraging and switched mm -hmm. to the Jack of Spades and uh, and uh, West didn't have much of a problem after that because now he can throw one of his club blues away on a diamond but uh, whatever method you use in this particular case of course it wouldn't cost you to overtake with the ace and pay one back but that's, uh, that's pushing uh, the limits a bit you need part of them to have the 10 or the Jack so if you're playing standard signals, 
you don't want to waste your ace because that looks a little bit dangerous. Then clearly the nine is better than the eight. You know, there's lots more cards below the nines than the under the eight. And hopefully partner will now get it right and continue with a club. But something that you need to agree with your partner about what you do. And uh, we'll play a third club now. So with the opposition have taken their three club tricks. It looks fairly routine for North to switch to the Jack of Spades. It's not going to cost. Mm -hmm. we'll win that in hand. Why do we win that in hand? Well, the point is that we're only going to have a problem now if the hearts break badly. And if the hearts break badly, if North has got four, we're probably going to go down. But if South has got four to the Jack Nine, then we're going to need to reduce our trumps the same way as we did before. And for that, we're going to need entries. So we're keeping the King Queen of Spades in dummy. If the hearts break normally, we won't have a problem. It doesn't matter where the entries are. Yeah. If you play the King for count, yeah, but yes, I, I agree with that, Jack. But uh, um, do you play the King for count? Or what do you do? What do you expect North to do and South to do on this particular hand? He wants partner to continue with clubs. But North will be wary of the Bath coup situation. Uh, it's not quite as simple as uh, King is count and, uh, and something else is added to, especially when you've got the ace yourself. You know partner was led from the King-Queen. But, um, you know, how do you get him to continue? Something you need to talk about. Right, where were we? Right, so... What we're going to do, we're going to try the hearts, because if they break, it, the problem is easy. So we'll play a little heart. But we kept the, the entries in dummy because they're the ones that we will need if we need to reduce our trumps to pick up four with south. We don't know he's got four, of course, so we're not going to finesse the ten now. But now we do. But we don't have any trumps left in dummy to take the heart finesse. We have to engineer to get to the same length of trumps as South has and then lead through him when he's only got um, those two trumps left and we can keep playing winners. So we're going to play a diamond to dummy. Now we're going to rough a diamond. That brings our trump down to just one more than south. Now a spade to dummy. You see why we kept the spade entries rather than winning that spade in dummy. And we're going to rough another spade, another diamond. Now we crossed back to dummy with another spade. Of course, we need south to follow to this. And now everybody has two cards left. The lead is in dummy. And whichever heart south plays, we will cover. We know he's got the jack and the nine. If he roughed with the nine, we will over rough with the ten. And if he roughed with the jack, of course, we would over rough with the queen. Uh, with the king. And now uh, we can claim our entries. So this is the trump reduction technique that we saw last week, and we've seen it before, I'm sure. Uh, we lost the first three club tricks. The contract is only in danger if the trumps break 4-1, and we can only do something about it if south is the one with four. And for that, for us to be able to cope with that, we need to be able to reduce our trumps and then lead from dummy. So when North switches to the Jack of Spades, if we cover with the King in dummy um, and then play two rounds of hearts, we'll find ourselves with insufficient entries to rough the diamonds twice and get back and, uh, and then lead through south. 
we won't have the speed entry that we do have at the moment. Okay. Still not an elopement, though, Jack. Very sorry. <laughs> no, this is not an elopement. What if does... North switches to a diamond at which point, Terry? After the... Uh... Well, let's play it again, then. Let's put it back to the table. Bear with me. Instead of the jack of spades, I think you mean. Okay, let's put it back to the table. Yeah, yeah, well, then then de declare a... Um, well, that's that's quite a point, actually, isn't it? Let's see what happens. No, you should just rough a diamond anyway. Rough a diamond anyway, just in a, case. A general technique says you should. Exactly, it. but we, we'll play it through just to show you. So uh, uh, we're going to have two passes and then four hearts. It's a good question, Terry. Uh, four hearts. And it's the way you should be thinking at the table, too. Right, so the opposition are going to catch their three club tricks. And then switch to a little diamond, say. Well, we're back in the same school of thought that we're only in danger if the trumps break badly and we can only do something about it if it's south that has the four. So we're not going to suffer a first round diamond rough. So while we're in dummy, second round diamond rough, while we're in dummy, we can rough a diamond now, just in case. All right, so now we'll play the hearts as we did before. But we're not going to finesse because we don't know that they're breaking badly. Right, but now we find out. Okay, so uh, now over to a spade we only need to rough once now to reduce our trumpets to the same length as south and now we're going to play two rounds of spades and the leaders in dummy to bring about the position that we had before so they're saying okay yeah so we're going to claim the contract now but a very good question terry thank you yes um, no you don't have to actually terry there's yet another way of playing it um knowing that you might need an entry to dummy uh after the diamond instead of playing hearts in the obvious way of king and then ace you can actually play ace of hearts first and then to the queen now if hearts are breaking no trouble just rush back to hand and draw the trumps but when they're not you've got your extra entry to do your first diamond rock mm -hmm. so there are other ways besides taking an early rock but you do need to leave yourself an entry if you're not going to rough a diamond straight away so that means you do hearts the peculiar way two of hearts to the ace and then three of hearts back to the queen that gives you an extra entry okay i'm not sure as everybody can hear those that are listening on bbo oh sorry you Colin, can hear yeah. alan. no it's fine it's fine alan i'll just repeat what you said could you hear alan those of you that are on bbo voice can you hear him or not you can okay in which case then i, I, I won't oh, need wonderful. to repeat okay. we can hear with I, both of us fine that's wonderful yeah, thank anyway. you anyway I'm a statistician today. Well done to Jack, who made this the honest and true way of doing exactly what you did. Well, yeah, yeah, well done. <laughs> Congratulations to two other players, but alas, you did say there are problems in the club suit. Uh, they were given the contract because uh, one of them was king of clubs followed by a club followed by a switch to another suit. Jack of spades, yeah. And another one was king of clubs followed by queen of clubs overtaken by the ace oh 
Because he thought North had the jack as well. Well, it might be King Queen Doubleton, and yeah. then you uh, want to go and give partner a clubber off. So I do. King, King Queen Doubleton. That would mean that West would have five of them. Indeed, it does seem unlikely. The, the, it just doesn't seem very likely in, in in line with the four heart bid. It's the first it person you switched. Likely. I think you should take a good look at dummy and ask yourself where you are. You going to get four tricks to defeat this contract? I suggest you're not going to get four tricks by not developing lots of tricks in clubs. You're not going to get them in diamonds, spades, or hearts. So I feel that switching at trick two is very counterindicated by the side of them. I think so too. Yeah. Thanks very much, Alan. Do we have any more comments or questions on board two? Okay, then we will move on to board three. Here it is on the table now. And uh, this, uh, you, some of you may have uh, sort of been a little bit surprised at the bidding that we gave you. This is the bidding we were given. Two spades. Typical wheat two spade opening. Two no trumps. Now, I'm sure some of you play August which asks for the range and quality of your two-spade opening or two-heart opening in the case of a major. And some of you may play, tell me if you've got an outside feature. And uh, on this particular case, South is playing that version and therefore three clubs says, I've got a feature in clubs, typically the ace or the king, not usually a singleton. Um, North said, OK, if you've got the king of clubs, that sounds like a four spades, sounds like a reasonable contract. So we'll make four spades. I'm not sure that there's, uh, uh, I personally, with most of my partners, I play August. Uh, do you think there's any particular advantage one way or the other, Alan? Um, I, I know experts who play natural overcalls and I know experts who play so my guess is no because experts by and large very quickly fasten on to uh good conventions and desert bad ones like Gerber so I'm guessing that they both work in, in the right circuit yeah as long as people are familiar with them and know what they're doing yeah I would agree with that Okay, the lead we are told is the King of Hearts. And I know one table started off with the Ace of Hearts, but it didn't seem to make a lot of difference. And uh, well, I will undo it because the nine is what we would play if we're playing standard. Sorry, I didn't get it. Try again. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh, what's he going to play next? Jack of diamonds. That seems the obvious thing to play. Certainly doesn't want to play a trump. Now, as declarer, we've got no club losers. We've got no diamond losers. But we've lost three tricks. We cannot afford to lose a spade trick. So we have to assume that the spade finesse is right, but what could go wrong? Well, you know, we could have that the spade finesse is right, but the East has got too many of them. And we lead the jack. He doesn't cover it. Of course he doesn't. He knows there's nothing to promote in his partner's hand. And when the ten is led, that looks good. We're looking good at the moment. Hmm. But now, again, we can't pick up that king of spades by conventional leads of trumps. We've got no spades left in dummy. And we have to use this technique that we've seen several times already. We've got to reduce our trumps 
to the same length as east and then lead through him. Well, how can we reduce our trumps? Uh, well, we could play the king of clubs and the ace of clubs and then rough a club and go over to the diamond and rough another club. And then we couldn't get back to uh, uh, to Dummy to lead through him. So it looks like we're going to have to rough two diamonds instead of trying to rough clubs. And that's OK, because we can use the clubs as entries to do that. So we can use the ace of diamonds as one entry uh, to rough a diamond. And then we can go over by playing a club to the queen and rough the other diamond and then overtake the king to make sure that we've got the lead in dummy leading through east. So we know what we've got to do. <laughs> so we've re reduced our trump once. Now we've crossed the dummy. doesn't help him to rough, we simply over rough and our clubs are good. So he throws a club. And now we're down to same length as Trump's. We need him to follow this club, but we know he's going to. There's only a club to the spades left now. And here we are where we were with the other hands. The lead is in dummy. And we are sitting with the ace queen of Trump's over East King 7, and we will simply beat whichever one he plays. Not play the King, I wouldn't think. I promise you, if you remember this technique, and you come to the conclusion that this is the only danger, then you will make more contracts if you can spot it in time. Yes, you had to overtake the King of Clubs with the Ace because we needed the lead in Dummy Makiko. Absolutely right. We didn't need an extra club trick. We needed to better lead from Dummy so that uh, we could uh, uh, pick up coup is the right word, I suspect, East Trumps. We had to uh, reduce our Trumps to the same length as him and then lead through him at trick 12. Excuse me. Any questions or comments on board three? I have statistics for you, Colin. Go on. Um, okay, congratulations to Blue, who was the only person to make it the hard way, that is, with good defence. Um, spot on, accurate throughout. Uh, two other players made it, and perhaps you should have a word about this. I don't remember you saying much when you led the Jack of Spades and the Ten of Spades, but at least one player covered the Jack of Spades with the King. <gasps> well, I did I did mention that there couldn't possibly be anything to promote in part. Well, I've seen this in other situations as well. So yeah. perhaps it's worth hammering home. The reason that you cover is, well, I'll let you tell them, Colin. Well, you you cover. I mean, if you had the uh, if you had the nine yourself. And you you could see that the nine could be promoted. But when declarers promise this five or six card suit, your partner can't have more than one. And so there's nothing to promote in partner's hand. There's no way you can gain by putting the king on. So the only person who can gain by you doing that is declarer. And you can, you can see from the full hand, if you put the king on, declarer mm -hmm. can draw all the trumps and he doesn't have any problems whatsoever. So you then... want to promote either in your hand or in partner's hand. You've got nothing to promote here and partner can't have sufficient length. Sorry, Alan, go ahead. No, no, I, I saw it elsewhere. So I think it is worth reinforcing there is a reason for it's not just a slogan you do it with a purpose exactly and of course as here uh your king may be a natural trick unless the cleric can engineer this difficult ending uh which many people can't so so really don't just automatically cover the last one was a misdefense because after winning the heart west switched and i don't know whether that's an error or not because if you think 
well, I'm only going to get so many heart tricks. Should I be leading through to partners diamond? I don't know. I don't know whether it's an error or not, really, because uh, I presume the lead was the eight of hearts. It, with the king of hearts, but yes, hearts. Oh, the lead is the king of hearts. Right. Okay. So, uh, I mean, the eight um, could be a four card suit. I mean, it's not obvious to me that it is an error to go and switch rather than go looking elsewhere for some more tricks. So, uh, Bill, Bill has just, uh, Bill Higgins has just put a point to the table and said that he considered shifting to a club to try and cut down the entries. Oh, wow. For that trump coup after the third round of hearts. Now, I don't think it works, but uh, we could have a look at it if we want from us to. Let's, uh, let's put the deal back up to the table and see what it says. So, uh, okay, it's going to be four spades by south. We know what the contract is. And we'll pay the three pounds of hearts. It's good thinking, Bill, that you considered the possibility and the reasons for it. I don't think it will matter because the player will have, well, it may do. Right, let's try switching to a club then. So, declare a wins in dummy. Which is, well, we we're going to play spades now. Well, he may make five pack of diamonds already, but uh, let's have a look and see what Double Dummy says. Double Dummy says this is still making. Then a spades is going to follow. That and play a heart instead, I think. It's probably just that we don't possibly set up a diamond trick. Uh, ah, now it says we've got to cash the ace of clubs next. So, totally different. Uh, to now, another club. We need to rough it. We would need to reduce our troubles just the same. All we've done is swap the diamonds for the clubs. Now we're going. We roughed clubs now instead of diamonds. But we still finish up back in the same position. We're back uh, where we are at trick, uh, trick 12 with the leading dummy leading through the king, queen, uh, the king seven of spades up to our ace queen. So we can claim it again. I can move that out of the way. There we go. But a good question. And uh, if you thought about it uh, in terms of can I break up the club entries for this trunk coup, then uh, it's very good thinking. As you can see, Declarer can. Uh, can counter that by now roughing two clubs instead of roughing two diamonds and using the diamonds as entries to get to and fro. Can you do any of this if unable to visualise Ops hands? Um, <laughs> that's a, uh, it's not a silly question, Sanya, but uh, it's, uh, it, it, it certainly it would be extremely difficult. I, if you I don't, don't have so. the means of thinking to yourself, East has still got two spades left, how do I manage to, to pick them up? Then uh, you, you need to be able to visualise what they've got left and what you need them to have left in the side suits. How much are you visualising here, Sandra? Because after the jack of spades and the ten of spades, you know about the Dobbleton spade. You know you have to engineer this position where it's a trump coup. Uh, as for the rest of it, do I play on diamonds or do I play on clubs? That is harder without visualising the opponent's hands, but only mildly, you know, you have to do something. So, uh, I mean, are you saying that even though West has shown out, you still cannot visualise that East has king small of spades? 
or are you trying to visualize the whole of Esau? I said, to my mind, once you know that East has the king seven of spades left and you played two rounds, is more difficult. Oh, okay. Do you think so, Terry? I don't know why. Hmm. My yeah. wife never had any trouble before she developed uh, her I think, yeah. I think, if anything, I would say it was the other way around. You know, I think women are much better at multitasking, and that tends to suggest that they can split their brain into, uh, into oh, working compartments. Much better business. I'd never stand up against you, Terry. No, no, no absolutely <laughs> We're not going to go down that route. We're yeah. going to move on to mood four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If I board four, I'm getting myself. I'm going to get myself into trouble here if I'm not careful. All right. Here's board four. Move that the way. And uh, now this time we do have a competitive auction, so we will give you the auction. We have two passes to start with. One spade from east, three clubs from south, typical uh, interference sort of bid, and four spades from west. Presumably playing five card majors, you'd expect. But... And the lead is the king of clubs. And he obviously. And now what have we got? Well, if the spades break, we've got five spade tricks and two hearts is seven and two diamonds is nine and the ace of clubs is ten. So we're back where we were before. We only have a problem, really, if the spades break badly. Okay. Now, we're coming to... Uh, how can we? Uh, where, where's our tricks going to come from? We don't have a finesse position in spades. So if the spades break 4-1, we'll ignore the 5-0 possibility, which could be even worse. Then we're going to have a spade loser. And we have a heart loser and a club loser and a diamond loser. Mm. Right. Now it's time for the elopement technique. Ah. Where we will try to make tricks um, by well, it's a coup on passant rather than the elopement. It's leading through the trumps with when we've only got the one trump left, but we will make it because North either has to play his trump, in which case we will go throw a loser away, or he will rough, and then we still have our trump to make a trick with. So that's what we're going to do if the spades break badly. So let's win the club. We do have a little bit of technique to think about. If the spades break badly, then for this coup en passant, a term that comes from chess, I think I mentioned it last week, mm -hmm. um, to work, we will need the entries in dummy. So we need to keep that king of spades in dummy just in case the spades are breaking badly. We can take two rounds of spades. Right, but we can play the ace and the queen so that we do keep um, the, uh, uh, the entry in dummy. And there we've got the news that we were afraid of. North has got a spade trick. All right, so now we're going to switch tack. What we're going to try and do is to rough clubs with our little drums. Sort of elopement type technique, but it's it's they're going to succeed. Because if North roughs with one of his big trumps. So, uh, what does South do now? Switch to the Queen of Diamonds, I guess. Right, player club set up. Okay. So we're in. 
and we can cash the Ace of Diamonds. And now we'll lead a club. Now if North roughs, we'll simply throw the diamond away. So he doesn't rough. We do. But now we need to get back to dummy. We can cash our ace king of hearts first. Now we're going to, we've made eight tricks. The King of Spades will be our ninth trick. And now if we lead a diamond, South will win, but then we'll, we'll make our six of spades. If we lead a heart, well, North will win and draw hard trump. But the one card we're sure that uh, North can't win to draw our trump is the Ten of Clubs. Uh, if North roughs, we'll throw a heart or a diamond away and we're still going to make our six of spades. And of course, if he doesn't rough, that's the coup en passant. We've bypassed oh, yeah. his trunk. Make the trunk. <clears throat> North has got the last two tricks, but we've got our ten. There we go. Ah, Terry's getting it now, she says. Uh, can I mute everybody on Zoom? I'm being asked. Bear with me just a moment, Sanya. Mute. I don't know how to mute everybody when I'm on sharing. Uh, let's try here. I don't have an unmute everybody option on here. I'm not sure. Let's try up here. No. Participants. Mute all. There we go. So, Alan, you'll have to unmute yourself if uh, if you want to speak. Okay. Managed to do it. Right. Do we have any other questions or comments on board four? Okay, we'll move on to board five. Here comes board five. And what have we got? Well, it's not a competitive sequence. Um, goes one spade, one no trunk, two hearts, four spades. So North is going to play it in four spades. And the lead is going to be the Queen of Spades. Okay. Now, what have we got? Well, we've got a spade loser. Uh, we can hope to set up the hearts. Hmm. So we've got a spade loser, a heart loser, two club losers. Hmm. So what's our line going to be? Well, maybe we can rough diamonds in our hand and hope that the person that's got the long trumps is obliged to follow suit with the diamonds. Um, let's just check. We've got probably four spade tricks if we lose one. And two heart tricks is six. And the ace of clubs is seven. And the ace of diamonds is eight. Mm, heart roughing dummy would be nine mm, I think I think that's what we're going to have a look at at least so we're, we're going to win the spade and we've got probably need the king of spades as an entry if we're going to try and invoke these little trumps and diamonds
Okay. Drop the dark one there. Now we'll punch our art. Okay. No, uh, but comes another spade. Why the opposition led spades to start with? Okay, so uh, I'm going to rock another diamond now. Now the Queen of Hearts. And the Jack of Arts. Still looking a little bit, uh, but now we can play the Four of Hearts. Now, if he roughs, then we're going to make both our trumps separately. So he throws a club. We rough that. And now comes the magic moment. We're going to rough it and hope that East, who's got the outstanding trump, also has the King of Diamonds. And that is the elopement technique, Jack, that we were looking at before. Right? If East could have got the lead, he could have drawn that trump. But uh, he couldn't, so we've eloped with that nine of spades. And then we're just going to cash our ace of clubs. And they're winning the last two tricks in three places, so to speak. Uh, the usual technique of uh, drawing the trumps, as soon as we lost the lead, we would not make enough tricks. We had to make those little trumps by roughing diamonds. And then although he still had a trump trick, he wasn't able to stop us roughing the diamonds. Okay, do we have any other questions or comments on board five? If Alan's saying anything, we can't hear you, Alan. If you are, because uh, I had to mute everybody. You need to. If West had returned a club, at which point, uh, Makiko? After the Ace of Hearts, instead of the Eight of Spades, um, well, then Declare could have roughed a heart in Dummy as well. So the Eight of Spades was the right card. His partner has started off on the right thing. We're trying to cut down on these roughs. Okay, we'll move on to board six. Board six. Support to the table. Mm -hmm. Now, this, uh, this auction confused a lot of people um, because a lot of people, very rarely do they play uh, um, Gerber. So, one no trump opening. Oh, and this is the bid. Four clubs. I don't use Gerber at all. And um, I don't like it. I don't think Alan likes it. But it's, you know, it serves a purpose. Some people do use it only over no trump openings. One no trump, four clubs, or two no trumps, four clubs. How many aces have you got, partner? So four clubs, how many aces have you got? And he says four hearts, four diamonds being none, four hearts, I've got one. Okay, then, then we'll give it a try to six diamonds. Sure, other people would find more sophisticated ways of getting to six diamonds, but uh, there we go. Even the information sheet I've got, it's got Gerber with four exclamation marks on it to show you how many people play Gerber these days, but 
Some people do. Some people swear by it. And some people use it instead of blackwood. It keeps the bidding lower, they'll tell you. And uh, I've had my share of being called to the table as a director when the auction has got to go, has gone something like one spade, three spades, stop four clubs, which is duly alerted as Gerber. And you say, well, uh, you know, how do you know it's not bidding the clubs again? Oh, well, it was a stop bid, except, of course, it wasn't a stop bid. So they were using the stop mechanism, even when it wasn't a stop, to differentiate between Gerber and a club rebid. Very naughty. And I was called to the table of the how many times because of that situation way back in the 60s and 70s. Anyway, here we are in Six Diamonds, and the lead is the Queen of Spades. Now we can see this technique in action again. Okay. We're only in danger if the trumps break badly. And uh, uh, and again, won't help us if North has got four to the Queen. We're going to lose uh, a club trick. Can't avoid that, we don't think. So we can't afford to lose a diamond as well. Our ace of spades, mm. and we're leading the ten of diamonds. Uh, some people north with the queen might cover it, but north uh, doesn't have the queen anyway. So we can't afford to lose the diamond, so we're going to put the king on. And we can run the nine, because south will not cover it. If south does cover it, we really don't have a problem. We'll just draw the trumps and give them their ace of clubs. But of course, Saf doesn't cover it, so the nine is allowed to win. And now we're back with this problem about how do we pick up the Queen of Diamonds when we don't have any diamonds left in dummy? Well, we all know the answer by now. We need to rough enough times to bring ourselves down to the same trump level as South, and... We're going to have to uh, uh, rough a club as well. We're going to rough three times. So we can rough spades twice, but we're going to need rough clubs at least once. So having got this far, all right, what are we going to do? We're going to play a club. Where's the lead at the moment? Sorry. Lost the, uh... Wait, well, the nine of diamonds. Okay, so we're going to lead the king of clubs. No, no, we're going to rough a spade first, that's it. But we know what we need to do. Now we'll play a club. North jumps in with his ace. And switches to a heart. Well, where are we going to win that? Well, we still need to rough another spade and we need to rough another club. So that will be one entry in dummy. And uh, we can uh, catch the king of clubs now. Notice we've only got the ace of hearts still left as an entry. And we need to rough a spade. But the clubs are good. Let's rough a spade. Another heart. Heart. I've played these clubs in the wrong order, I think. Have I, have I got it wrong? Yes, I think I've got it wrong. I'm going to show you back a little bit more. I missed myself earlier on. Oh. What we had to do and then. Missed it up, right? Okay. 
Asiatian clubs. So what's he play after the Ace of Clubs? The Eight of Hearts, we said. Queen. Queen. And now we've got to rough the spade now. So we do that. Lost. Oh, dummy not working anymore. I wonder why. We've reduced our trunk down. Now we can play club winners. And if he roughs, then we'll over rough. He doesn't be throws his spade. So we throw the heart, and the lead remains in dummy sitting over um, with our trump sitting over South's Queen X. Yes, thank you, Annabelle. Got myself lost. It's getting late. We can play my last two tricks now. You, you're seeing the contract, you're seeing the, the technique that we've been using over and over again now. Reduce our trumps to the same length as the, the, the rut, the snake in the grass that's got the length that's causing us the problems, and then lead through him. But we have to handle the, the entries very carefully. Okay. Do we have any questions or comments on Borson? I don't think so. And then what do you think South can do, uh, Geoffrey? I don't think so. I did have Double Dummy on there for uh, uh, when I realised I'd gone wrong. And I couldn't see anything that South could do to, uh, to outmanoeuvre it. And if Declare got it right. Well, we will move on to board seven. No opposition bidding this time, and we're going to finish up in four spades by sound. And the lead, we're told, is the five of diamonds. Okay. Um... Mm, let's have a look. What have we got? Well, if the spades behave ordinarily, we've got four spade tricks. Uh, maybe five, but certainly four. Uh, five, six, seven, including three clubs. Ace, king of diamonds and a diamond rough. So if the spades, if we can get away with only losing one spade, we've got enough tricks, we think. All right, but if the spades break badly, if the spades are three one, then yeah, we can draw two trumps. We can uh, rough a diamond in dummy. So we will make four spade tricks. The three club tricks is seven. The ace king of diamonds is nine. And diamond rough is ten. So our only danger is four spades to the queen, ten, nine, eight in one hand. I think we could probably manage that if it was West that held them because we could lead more towards the jack. And that would limit our losers. But if East has got four spades, then we can't do that. Hmm. So maybe we should try and find out what uh, what the spade position is. Let's have a look. What we don't want is East to have all four of them. But uh, we're using the spades. And, oh dear. 
So East has got all four of them. If we pay more spades now, we're going to be lost. So now what are we going to do? Well, the only way that we can limit East to one spade trick, because we're going to lose two hearts no matter what we do, is to end play him, to give him the lead in spades when he's only got spades left. And then he's got to lead away from the queen. So that's going to be our aim. And to do that, we're going to have to shorten our trumps. We're going to need to rough hearts in our hand. We can the diamond rough can, can wait until later if we need to do that. So let's start off by playing the heart. Um, help east to uh, west to jump in with it. Oh, 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 oh. No, why would he do that? Maybe he would let let his partner keep it, and his partner will continue with the diamond. Didn't seem to do any harm. Now we're going to play another heart. And this one we have to win with the queen. And now we're trying to hope that Mark's got something in clubs. So don't forget, we're trying to rough hearts in our hand. So now we've, uh, we've, we've roughed that heart. Now, Queen of Clubs. And the King of Clubs. And now is the time when we're going to rock that diamond and dummy. And we know that East's last three cards are the Queen, Ten, Nine of Spades. So we're going to lead the Jack of Hearts. He's going to rough because he has no choice. And we will duck it. And now East has got the lead when he least wanted it and has got to lead a spade away from his queen. And one of those spade losers has evaporated. Clever. That one. How many got that one right? Do we know, Sanya? Does anybody know? Two. Two people got it right. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Well, it succeeded. I only just got back, so I didn't check whether okay. they were helped. Two people made it, whether they were helped or uh, whether they played it in accordance with the line we've just given. We we don't know. But uh, um, if you made it, well done. Then you may have been helped by the opposition. We don't know. But it's an elegant um, solution. Um, but again, it comes down to realising at the start that that is your only problem. If the spades break 3-1 or 2-2, we don't have a problem. We have 10 tricks. So the only danger is queen 10 9 8 in the east hand. We can manage if it's in the US hand. And once we find that that is the case... Then we have to switch tack and we've got to reduce our trumps and cash the clubs and rough the diamond at the last point of throw that we can end play east in trumps and he has to lead away from the other one. Well, you can start with the ace or the king, and you Yes, you don't start off with the small one because if you let him make his jack queen straight away, then he can exit with the ten straight away. And now he's going to make another spade trick. Two more. He's going to make two spades now, no matter what you do. Yeah. So you need to catch one of the top ones. You get the bad news, and now you have to revise your plan. And this happens an awful lot in bridge. And one of the secrets of successful game, the playing the game, is to make your if this happens plan in advance. 
what will happen is that you'll see declarer think about it for a couple of minutes and he plays two rounds of trumps and somebody shows out and they go into the office. What am I on earth am I going to do now? Whereas the good player will sit and say, if I play two rounds of trumps and he shows out, what am I going to do then? And he will make a plan before he plays the two rounds of trumps. So then he plays the ace of trumps and the king of trumps and somebody shows out and he carries on switching to hearts. He's made his just-in-case plan already. And that makes a big difference. I know Alan does that a lot and I know I do it a lot. You know, you try and see the problems coming and uh, you get a long way by asking yourself, if I do this and they do that, what do I do? And if you can come up with a sensible answer, then your play will improve. Okay, it's um, Dimitri who, and um, and Chris, who's for love, Chris, in, as a username, both played it sort of, uh, I mean, not card by card, but certainly directed towards that ending. So, uh, well Okay, done. well done to them, very much. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. Yeah, you, know, you must have been watching last week and learned all that. <laughs> There's no other explanation, Colin, no. No, no, I understand, Alan. No, I'm having a little bit of a joke. Thank you very much. Any other questions or comments on board seven? Okay, we'll uh, see if we can find board eight for you. Board eight seems to be hiding under the bottom here. There it is. Board eight. Uh, export. Upload. Turn the page over. Get to board eight. And we've seen this technique as well before. No opposition bidding. And uh, East is going to play this in four hearts. So we'll pass and pass. You can all see all the hands. What do you think the technique is going to be here? Dummy reversal is, is when we use dummies trumps eventually to draw trumps, uh, Mikiko, and rough in the long hand to give us extra tricks. So that's not that wasn't really a dummy reversal. It was uh, it was an end play that required us to remove the idle cards from the east. Not quite the same. No, uh, I'm being asked if this is a reverse if this is a reverse dummy from Bill. No, it's not a reverse dummy, Bill. Anybody else like to have a go? What do we think is going to happen here? Well, let's have a look. Um, we get the lead of the nine of spades. Those of you that play strong tens. Uh, the nine guarantees the ten and nothing higher. Certainly the way I play it, it does. If you're leading from length, it might be nine double turn or nine single turn, obviously. But if you're leading from length, the nine promises the ten and nothing higher. And you might have ten nine XX, you might have ten nine eight. Right, but uh, now, what are, where are we going? Well, um, if the heart finesse works, well, we've probably got uh, enough heart tricks and uh, two spade tricks. Well, I'll take four heart tricks, probably. Uh, two spade tricks is seven, two diamonds. Hmm. Well, we seem to have quite a lot of tricks if the hearts behave. Uh, Alan mentioned while we were watching uh, a technique, um, a safety play. Um, how do we play these hearts for only one loser. Eloping hearts, five, two, and now. Well, we, we, we will see in a minute. Um, but if the safety play is required, we need to know whether we actually need the safety play or can we afford to possibly lose two hearts. And that will really depend on whether the club finesse is going to work or not. All right, so, but uh, here, um, the play I've been given, um, we'll come back to that possibility in a moment. Well, you're going to take the half, and it's because if North has got the kick of hearts, then we're pretty much home and dry. But 
he hasn't. And uh, South continued with another spade. Don't forget, North knows that South has got the tent. Now we get the Ace of Hearts and we get the bad news. We lost to a singleton king. Hmm. Okay, so now we've got a heart loser as well, and we've got a club loser as well. So, um, what are we going to do here? Hmm. Well, I think what we're going to need to do is to try and make these diamonds as uh, Geoffrey suggested. Now we need the club fides, whether we like it or not. Once that wins, and see the position. This is the coup en passant again. It's not so much an elopement. It's uh, if North roughs, we won't over rough. We'll throw either a club or a spade away. And if North doesn't rough, we will rough with our little five of hearts and the queen of hearts will still be there to make the tenth trick. So this is a, another coup en passant. Very similar to the elopement technique, but uh, Path has got the policy suit anyway. Queen of Hearts will be our tenth trick. We give up. We make it two. Okay, do we have any questions or comments on board eight? Now, I'm going to play it again because Alan's suggestion, let's put it back to the table. Uh, before you do that, do you want the statistics? Yeah, please, Alan, yeah. Um, uh, okay, two people made it. Oh, nobody actually took the safety play that you're about to go and describe. Okay. Right, okay. okay, so... Uh, uh, two people made it in the way you described, which is Bill and um, um, uh, Psych Dad. Who's Psych Dad? I'm sorry to give a username. Uh, Paul. Okay. So they did fine. They knew what they well, were no, doing. Yeah, Lorette right. tried to do it, um, She, but she roughed a diamond early to shorten her trumps. Right. Then when she took the heart finesse... Um, that actually gave an option for South to defeat the contract by forcing Declara. Unfortunately, uh, um, uh, another diamond or another spade actually would have defeated the contract. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, South didn't quite play the right card. So then uh, Florette was back on track and managed to bring the contract home. All right. Okay. So certainly well done to uh, Paul and Bill. And well done to Florette. It wasn't silly what she was doing. It's just I a know. bit premature to rough the diamond. I have the greatest admiration for Florette. I've seen them bring up some very good plays. What we were looking at was the possibility of a safety play in Trumps. Now, just imagine that you've got ace queen to six hearts opposite three small. Now, if your object is to avoid losing more than one heart, well, if you play, uh, well, make it ace-queen-nine even, or ace-queen-ten, 
Um, if you pay a small one to the queen and it loses to the king, even assuming you've got the entries, do you finesse the 10 next time and find that South has got King Jack Doubleton? Or do you play for it to drop and find that North started with Jack to three and South had the singleton king? But there is a safety play that will guard against that sort of holding. And uh, this is very similar here. So what we can do after the nine of spades lead King of Spades? Do you think win the first one with the King? Well, right? you need to know whether the club finesse is working to afford the same Yes, thing. yes, yes. Let's, let's do that. Yes, as I said before. Um, the safety play is only of value to us if we, if we can afford it effectively if the if the club finesse is working. So we're going to win the first play and take the club finesse to find out whether we can afford what we think is going to be a safety play. So uh, let's have a look at Double Dummy. Well, Double Dummy says we can make an over trick here. Um, yeah. So we're going to play the ace. And if the king doesn't drop, then we're going to cross back to Dummy and play towards the queen jack. And if the south did have king doubleton or king to three, well, the suit would have broken. Right. But as it happens, the king drops. And uh, now I'm taking the safety play. North is going to make a heart trick, but what else can he make? We can make an over trick now without uh, without breaking sweat, really. So there are quite a lot of situations where cashing the ace first may give up a trick unnecessarily. <laughs> You may have found the hearts were two two all the time, and, uh, uh, and and North would have had King Doubleton, and you wouldn't have lost a heart trick at all. But it's a, what we call a safety play. It gives up the possible over trick in the interests of making sure that you make the tricks that you needed. Uh, where he's going to give North is, uh, I think it really matters. Does it matter? No, we can undo that. Stop the over trip. We can play uh, play for diamonds now. Spade. Any of you had found the cat the ace of clubs because otherwise north will throw from the pan of a diamond, north will throw the club away. And we won't catch it. Now we can play anything except a spade to generate another trick for our last trump. Who on pass on again. But we've made we've made a new trick. So here, cashing the ace of hearts. If nothing happened, if we cash the ace of hearts and both followed, then we would have crossed the dummy um, with a club or a spade, or whatever suit we like, and play another heart. And uh, if North had the king, well, he, he's going to make it now. But the suit will have broken. So we still only lose the one heart trick. The heart finesse would have worked. We might have made five heart tricks because they were three, two, and North had the game. But it, the safety play is exactly that. We give up the hope of the over trick in the interest of making the tricks that we need. Yeah, and don't forget, everybody, these, these safety plays are for when you're playing for imps, and over tricks have no importance whatsoever. Yeah, good point, Alan. Thank you. Next week, Alan will be back with another set of hands on squeezes. So, uh, and then I will be following that with two more weeks of these uh, of these handling trumps, and then he'll have another week on squeezes. So you got a, you got squeezes next week, and then two more weeks of uh, 
of things to do with trumps and then another uh, set with Alan on uh, on squeezes. So you know what's coming up. All of you study what you're doing and you'll, you'll all blind Alan and I with science. You'll know exactly what you're doing. And we'll be saying, why are we doing here anyway? Okay. All right. 